pulse wave pattern. The pulse wave pattern, it is different in the central vessels, that is your carotids and all, and it is different in the peripheral arteries. What are the peripheral arteries like radial artery and as well as the dorsalis pedis artery, they are the peripheral vessels. So this is the pattern of the waveforms in the central and as well as the peripheral vessels. Let me discuss them in detail. So now first and foremost, you need to know what are the central vessels which we palpate for making out the pulse waveform. That includes, okay, one is the carotid artery, right, which we can palpate, but the other vessels which we cannot palpate, but which includes the central arterial pulse, that includes the ascending iota, And next is the innominate vessel. And this innominate vessel, this is what is nothing but the brachiocephalic trunk. So these are the central arterial pulse. Now out of which it is the carotid artery which provides the most accurate representation. Right, which provides the most accurate representation of the central aortic pulse. Then, what are the peripheral vessels in which we feel for the peripheral arterial pulse? That includes brachial artery, radial artery, and as well as the femoral artery. These three, and even the popliteal. And next we have dorsalis pedis artery. So these are the peripheral arterial pulse out of which, which is more suitable for making out the waveform, it is the brachial artery. Right? Now, let me discuss the difference in the waveforms in the central and as well as the peripheral vessels. So first, let me take up the discussion in the central, that is in the ascending iota, innominate and as well as the carotid artery. So, you take in the ascending iota, right? So, this is the waveform in the ascending iota. The pulse wave normally rises rapidly. Why? Because the ascending iota is the first vessel which receives the blood from the left ventricle. So, that is the reason why the pulse wave normally rises rapidly. But how will be the shape of that ascending limb? That will be a rounded dome shape, right? In this rounded dome, Right in this rounded dome, you have the two waves. Right, you have the percussion wave, and you also have the tidal wave. Right, these two waves are present in the rounded dome the percussion wave, and as well as the tidal wave. Now, this percussion tidal wave, which is appearing in the ascending limb, they reflect the peak velocity of, right, they represent the peak velocity of the blood which is ejected from the left ventricle, right, it represents the peak velocity of the blood ejected from the left ventricle. But in between these two, that is percussion wave and as well as the tidal wave, there is a small anacrotic notch. So, in the ascending limb, you have a small anacrotic notch and this is what is that anacrotic notch, okay. So anacrotic notch is the one which is being felt or rather than it is being recorded in the ascending limb of, right, in the ascending limb of the waveform, right, it is rather than being felt, it is recorded on the ascending limb of the pulse waveform. Now, you take the descending limb. The descending limb in case of the central vessels, it is less steep. Now, how is it different from the peripheral vessels? In the peripheral vessels, the descending limb is more steep, right? So, the descending limb is less steep than the ascending limb. And in the descending limb, you have an interruption. And that particular interruption, whatever is there in the descending limb, that is called as the incisura. Right, that is called as the incisura. 
and this incisura is present in the descending limb and it is less steep which one the descending limb is less steep then compared to that of the ascending limb now after the incisura there is again a sharp downward deflection right there is a sharp downward deflection after the incisura so incisura what it represents it represents the closure of the aortic valve right it represents the closure of the aortic valve now after the incisura you have one more sharp downward deflection okay and that particular sharp downward deflection that is what is nothing but your diastolic wave or the dichrotic wave okay so this is what the sharp deflection whatever you are seeing right so this will be the dichrotic wave or it is a diastolic wave right so it appears after the incisura right and how will be the dichrotic wave the after the incisura the pulse wave it rises slightly and thereafter it declines throughout the diastole that is what is your dichrotic wave or diastolic wave now let me try to discuss the difference in the waveform in the central and as well as in the peripheral vessels right so you take in the central artery that is in the aorta so how will be the upstroke we have discussed the upstroke in the central it will be round or dome shaped right rounded dome whereas the upstroke in case of the peripheral artery it is steep right the upstroke is steeper and ascending limb in the central artery that is aorta ascending limb has an anacrotic notch right it has an anacrotic notch the ascending limb right whereas i have i have shown you already right so this is the anacrotic notch right whereas the anacrotic notch it disappears in the waveform of the peripheral artery so you don't have the anacrotic notch in the peripheral artery like for example you take the brachial artery and next is the descending limb descending limb what did we discuss in the central it has the incisura and following the incisura you have the dichrotic wave or the diastolic wave right you have the dichrotic wave or diastolic wave whereas in the brachial i mean that is in the periphery the incisura in descending limb is replaced by the dichrotic notch okay so this is what is the dichrotic notch so instead of incisura you have the dichrotic notch after the dichrotic notch right after the dichrotic notch you have the dichrotic wave okay so this is about the difference in the pulse wave pattern between the central and as well as the peripheral vessels so one important difference is the ascending limb it is rounded in central whereas steep in the peripheral artery and the ascending limb it has the anacrotic notch in the central but anacrotic notch disappears in the peripheral vessel that is brachial artery descending limb it has incisura followed by dichrotic wave whereas in peripheral artery you don't have incisura instead of that you have dichrotic notch followed by that you have the dichrotic wave so these are the differences now when you examine this arterial pulse the blood ejected it will be converted into two pulsations one is flow pulsation the other one is the pressure pulsation now what are the flow pulsations the flow pulsations they are longitudinal movement of the blood 